Welcome back to Bay Area Focus. There are so many amazing nonprofits and organizations around the globe aimed at helping others, but many of their messages get lost. A problem Heather Box and Julian Mosin McQueen noticed. So they set about helping leaders find their voices in order to make those messages more powerful. And Heather and Julian, founders of the Million Person Project, are here to tell us all about this project. Okay, this is great. This is a great idea. So really, you're helping people who want to inspire others. You're helping them sort of find their narrative. Right, exactly. So what we do is we support leaders all around the world to tell their truest personal story as it relates to the work they're doing so that they can show up really powerfully in their message and engage and inspire their audience. Is that sometimes difficult for people to do, even though they're doing great work out in the community, but there may be a part of their journey that they don't want to share? Yeah, it's something that we come across all the time. People are doing really powerful work but when they have the opportunity to speak about it publicly, oftentimes they will rely on the facts and figures and feel like they just need to tell this perfect story that is about what the work they're doing. And who they are and their inspiration and the values behind what they're doing really gets lost. And we've found that storytelling is a really powerful way to communicate values. And values are what get us all inspired and excited to be a part of something. And failure is a part of the journey always. So it's important to share that too, right? Right. Yeah, it's the most authentic story that really connects with the audience. Mm -hmm. So that's telling your story of the good, the bad, the unthinkable, the amazing. When you're willing to stand in your whole truth in that way, there's a different level of connection with your audience and your clients that can only be achieved when you're willing to be seen in all of who you are. So what was the inspiration behind starting this? Well, we had the opportunity to work. Um, we were both working in the environmental space, and we would go around the world to conferences. We went to the UN Climate Conference, and we would meet people at the restaurant, see their badge and start hanging out with them, have some drinks or whatever, catch coffee, and we get to hear the inspiration behind their work and we get to hear their process and their journey to what they're doing. And it was completely inspiring. And then we'd be like, well, we got to go to their uh, session because the, they're going to be amazing. And we go to the session and it would be like, wah, 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 and mm -hmm. it would be this flat presentation and there wasn't anything there. And we felt like there is a huge opportunity being missed here. They're in front of world leaders and they have an opportunity to talk about this game-changing work for their community and it's just not coming across it's blending into the other two dozen people that spoke that day and so that was really a big part of the inspiration for us to start this is how can we help the people that are really transforming their community stand out and stand up and be all of who they are and allow people to see them um, and through that inspiration bring people to their cause. Well, you have worked with some really amazing clients and we actually have video of one of the clients telling their story. All right. Here's a story from one of our change makers. As an artist, um, I go by the name of Swoon, and I've done installations and community-based projects all over the place. What I don't really talk about very publicly, but I want to talk about today, is that I was born into a family of severely heroin-addicted parents. My very clearest childhood memory of my mother is being dragged terrified out into the street as she screamed up at the sky, believing the aliens were coming down to eat every last one of us. Why the pain? Why is this person suffering so deeply that they've not yet been able to heal? And what can we as a society do to help them heal? Myself as an artist, beginning to tell this story publicly is a first step. After Callie shared her story, she was approached by CNN and asked to do an op-ed. That op-ed has garnered growing support for her and her message. Stories work. And at the Million Person Project, we believe in a world where our uniqueness is our asset. We're sharing our distinct set of life experiences that only we have gone through is a way for us to find each other beyond the categories that we've divided ourselves into. We support yeah, it really connects us all, doesn't it? Yeah. You think it's very important, especially in today's world, to really find your voice. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, one of our favorite quotes is by an author named Ben O'Cree, and it says, six storytellers can make whole nations sick. And uh, I'm not pointing any fingers, mm -hmm. but we see that throughout history in a lot of different ways. And so we like to talk about how can we be the antidote to those six stories? How can we lift up the stories that are about connection, that are about community, uh, that highlight uh, our similarities in the ways in which we're all human, and, uh, and lift those to the fore? And so how, where can people find your work, and how can they start working on their narrative? Yeah, so we work, like we said, we work with people all over the world, and, but we have a local workshop coming up on October 30th here in San Francisco. That's a free inter, intro workshop. But we it's all, free, yeah, it's which free. is great. Yeah. It's free, come one, come all. <laughs> yeah. But we also take on one-on-one -on -one clients for people who are 
you know, doing TED Talks or keynote addresses or want to share their story in writing. And so we work with people in one-on-one -on -one format, also in online group programs, which are amazing because people get to see each other and how step into their own stories and see the power that that, that creates when someone really steps into their truth in that way. I just love this because it shows us that when we have these leaders in the community that are doing good, they still need help too. Right. Mm -hmm. They still need to work on themselves as well. That's right. right. Yeah. And you have people that are, um, again, doing such good work, but um, need that support to really sure. stand in their story in ways that will connect. And that feels real for them. And that's a big part of it. The connection comes through you feeling in touch with your story, mm -hmm. right? That's where, when, when you're lit up about what you're talking about and when you're sharing something that feels really real, uh, your audience, whether it's a one-on-one -on -one situation or whether it's a room full of people, they're going to feel that. Well, you are doing such great work. Thank you so much for coming on the show and telling us all about it. And if Heather and Julian can help you out, just log on to millionpersonproject.org to learn more. And that's it for our show this week, but we will be back with more Bay Area Focus next week. Have a great day.